am relieved and delighted that the Supreme Court judges have ruled in our favour. I hope that their decision sends out a message to everyone going through a divorce that they cannot lie in the family courts and get away with it. My legal battle has never been about the money. It has always been a matter of principle. I entered into an agreement with my estranged husband thinking that it was a fair one. I believed that the net result was an equal division of our assets which had accrued during our marriage and so, in my opinion, 50% was fair. Unfortunately, the evidence was manipulated by my estranged husband and it was not therefore possible to rely on the evidence of either of our accountants when considering the value of what I believe is and was the most valuable asset. The proceedings have dragged on and at times I have considered whether it was the right thing to do to continue my appeal, especially as there has been criticism about my pursuing the appeal because of the amount of the award which I originally received. However, I know that there are potentially others who are not in the same position as me financially, those who cannot afford to pursue a principle, and I wanted to pursue my appeal to ensure that they too are not faced with a situation where their spouse tells lies which potentially affects the outcome and interferes with achieving a just and fair settlement for either their husband or their wife and more especially for their family. The courts have at last demonstrated that the English legal system will not allow dishonest spouses to mislead the court or their former partner. I believe that justice has been done I hope that I can now begin to move on with my life, safe in the knowledge that my future divorce settlement will be based on the true value of our assets. I'm absolutely relieved by this judgment. My journey's been a particularly long one, and the complexities that my case presented in law and actually uh, presenting it has been almost unsurmountable and I'm absolutely relieved by the clarity and the pre pre precision of the judgment that has been delivered and I say this that there are no winners in divorce and more than a thought has to be given to the families and the children locked in this type of litigation the price they pay is a heavy one the emotional strain of it all is huge and the drain in financial resources, we shouldn't forget, is enormous. And none of it really serves the family. The court process is unfortunately geared towards those with financial means. And I consider myself extremely fortunate to, be, to have been able to conduct most of my case on my own. I'm also particularly grateful to Ross Beaver, Sally Harrison, Sam Hillis, Sheena Cassidy and all at Irvin Mitchell who truly believed in me in my case and at the 11th hour they gave up their time and put in the tremendous work that goes in to prepare for this court. All spouses subject to deceit and deliberate financial skullduggery in a divorce owe a huge debt of gratitude to the tireless efforts of the legal teams here today. Thank you.